Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello. Good How are you? Good evening. Good, evening. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this new class. Okay, we're going to begin now. Just bear with me for a second. And uh, I'm going to share the screen with you now. Okay, there it is. Now, uh, when you hear your name, please let me know. Here we go. Um, Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Adán. Welcome. Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto López. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramírez. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Good I evening. am in class because Caring. I am driving my car for my okay. house. Be careful, okay? Thank you. Okay, be careful. Okay, welcome, Baudilio. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Present teacher. Welcome, Carlos. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, David. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Gente, teacher. Welcome, Enrique. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present, teacher. Welcome, Ever. Ever Francis Salvallero. Present, teacher. Welcome, Ever. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Ebert Aristides Oye Ruiz. Presente, teacher. Welcome, Ebert. Iván Alexi Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Present teacher. Welcome, Jose. Jose Valentin Rivera Lopez. Jose Valentin Rivera Lopez. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Francisco Arrazaba Calderón. Welcome, Juan Francisco. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Mar Good evening, teacher. I am here. Okay, welcome, María de Lourdes. María Magdalena Cedillos González. María Magdalena Cedillos González. La veo como que está conectada, pero no la escucho. Bueno, pero ahí está. Welcome, María Magdalena. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Oscar Susana Castellano. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique. Presente, teacher. Welcome, Salvador. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. 
Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Llamo de nuevo a quienes no han contestado aún. Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto López. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Hello, Carlos. Welcome. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present teacher. Welcome, Edith. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Present, present teacher. Good Welcome, evening. Erika. Good evening. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. <coughs> José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Oscar Susana Castellano. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Tenemos entradas del chat acá. Edith Consuelo presente. Erika Consuelo. María Lourdes. Problemas de conexión. Alguien que se vaya conectando. Que no haya mencionado. O que no haya escuchado su nombre. Cecia. Ok, Cecia. Welcome. ¿Alguien más? Únicamente. Ok. Me haré asistencia nuevamente al finalizar la clase. Everybody, welcome once again. This is English Pre-Intermedio, módulo 1, and this is me, Iván Doñán, at your service. This is session number 6, and uh, today is July 31st, 2023. So, welcome. Desde ya les agradezco a todos, ¿verdad?, el esfuerzo por estar acá. Yo sé que, bueno, muchas personas hoy salen de vacación. Por lo menos este, en cuestiones de clases, de educación, la gran mayoría ya está de vacación. Pero nosotros, bueno, aquí estamos hoy. El día de mañana ya empezamos la vacación, pero hoy tenemos clase. Así que les agradezco mucho por su puntualidad y por su responsabilidad también. Y esperemos que quienes aún no se han podido conectar, pues logren hacerlo más tarde, ¿verdad? Probablemente hay algunas otras dificultades de las cuales no estoy eh, al tanto. Enrique Pérez. Quisiera a lo mejor que hay problema de señal por lluvia, igual día viernes. Está Creo lloviendo que... por ahí. Ese es el inconveniente que se tiene, al menos aquí en Comalapa, lo más amenazado de agua está, pero en otros lugares tengo entendido que está lloviendo y eso a lo mejor ha dificultado la conexión. Mm, es posible. Sí, bueno. sin duda. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, gracias Enrique por la información. En el chat tenemos a Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Ok. Santos Mauricio, ahorita le ponemos asistencia. Welcome, Santos Mauricio. Ok, Cecia dice donde vivo está que quiere llover. Aquí también. <ríe> está que quiere llover, ojalá que no llueva. Ok, uh, let's continue. Ok, we're going to have a review on this. This is the grammar focus. So everybody, take a look. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias is here. Welcome, Juan Carlos. Okay. Presente, 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 teacher. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> okay, grammar focus. Demonstratives, one and ones. Okay, remember, uh, one and ones are pronouns. Son pronombres. Significa que se utilizan en vez de otra palabra para no ser repetitivo. So you say, how much is this necklace? So you're showing, how much is this necklace? Okay, or you say, how much is this one? What is one? One is necklace. Para no repetir necklace, decimos one. Okay, you can say how much is that necklace, okay, or you can say how much is that one, okay. Now the plural form, how much are these earrings, that's plural, or you just show them and you say how much are these, 
okay? Or how much are those earrings? Or how much are those? Chat entry here. Monica Merino Rivas is present. Hello, Monica, welcome. Okay, now you can also ask which one? Which is cuál? Okay, which one? The blue one. Okay, el azul. ¿Por qué no decimos one? Porque ya el interlocutor sabe de qué estamos hablando. ¿Verdad? Estamos hablando de un collar. Entonces, which one? ¿Cuál? The blue one. Okay. Ah, okay. You say it's $42. Now look, you say it's. To express the price, you have to say it's. Okay. Now, how much are these earrings? Or how much are those earrings? And the other person says, which ones? In plural form. Which ones? And you can say the yellow ones, los amarillos, or las amarillas, okay? And you say they are $18. Because it's a plural form, you have to use they are. Okay, so nothing new here. This is the same thing we studied on Friday, last Friday, sorry. And uh, today you just have a review. Okay, so here we go. Uh, prices, okay? Remember that you can say, in this case, $42. When you have cents, you can say $59.95, just like Spanish. In Spanish, you don't say dollars. You say $59.95. So it's in, Eng in English, it's very similar. You say $59.95. Or if you want to be more specific, you can say $59.95. Okay? $59.95. Whatever you choose. So... Um, Here's the thing, okay? Just going to go over this because this exercise is not really that important. I am more, well, yeah, it's a knowledge check actually. So let's do this. So add prices to the items, then ask and answer the questions. You have, for example, this, 86.99. Take a look, 86.99. And there's a conversation. How much are these sunglasses? The other person says, which ones? And they say the pink ones, okay? They are $86.99. You say, that's expensive. Now, look at the final expression. That's expensive. This is circumstantial. Es circunstancial. Now, what are some other useful expressions? You can say, that's cheap. Está barato. That's reasonable. Huh? Es razonable. No está barato, pero ni caro. Tampoco lo van a regalar. Right? That's reasonable. Okay. You can say, that's okay. The price is okay. You can say, that's not bad. No está mal. Or you can say, that's expensive. Okay. Eso está caro. All right. So those are some useful expressions right here. So what are we going to do? Okay. I need volunteers. I'm going to need three pairs of volunteers, okay? Three pairs of volunteers to do the rest, okay? You say uh, first the sunglasses, the pink sunglasses, then the black sunglasses, then the, the orange cell phone, and then the blue cell phone or gray cell phone, not sure. But I need two volunteers. Básicamente es recrear esa conversación, pero cambiando la información. Y usted le inventa el precio. So, Two volunteers, please, for the first one. Vamos. ¿Quién se anima? Ever Enrique, thank you. I need another person. Básicamente se trata de recrear la misma conversación, pero cambiando la información, ¿verdad? Ya no va a decir pink sunglasses, porque eso ya lo dijimos. Ahora son los black sunglasses, o dark sunglasses, y le inventa un precio. Ahora necesito que un compañero o una compañera para que, pues, Sebre Enrique pueda, pues, desarrollar el ejercicio y podamos verlo juntos. Nadie le quiere ayudar, eh? Fracasó el compañerismo acá, mire. Ok, Enrique, vamos. Ok, Ever, you're A, Enrique, you're B. Teacher, pero nos ayuda ahí cuando 
Claro, como siempre. No hay problema. Como siempre. Cuando lo he dejado solo, yo usted. No, siempre, siempre le ayudo. Ok. Ok, Ever, you begin. How much are these sunglasses? Which, okay. uh -huh. ones? Which ones? The black ones. Mm -hmm. uh, they are uh, 86 nice, nice. Lo mismo que los otros, vale. No, pon, <laughs> póngale, otro, póngale otro precio. Okay. Okay. Uh, they, they are 90. 90 dollars. 90. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Whoever pays, you know, $90 sunglasses. Okay. So that's okay. No problem. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you, Ever and Enrique. Thank you very much. You see, it's very easy. Okay. You just need to change a little, just information a little bit. Okay. I need two more volunteers for the next item. Two more volunteers, please. Cecia. Que está incógnito ahorita porque no me mira. Ok. <laughs> Cecia. And uh, who else? Mm -hmm. Nadie le quiere ayudar, Cecia, mire. Yo solita, Ticha. Usted sola le va a contestar. <laughs> sí. Ah, hombre, vamos, vamos. ¿Quién, ¿Quién le ayuda a Cecia? No la dejen sola, vaya. Pero que sean diferentes. No puede ser ni Enrique ni Ever. Tiene que ser alguien más. Baudilio, por ahí que está en la orilla de la playa. Estaba manejando ahorita. Hello, teacher. Hi. Who, who, who's What is that? <laughs> okay. Um, are you driving? Uh, I am uh, station. Gas. Ah, oh, you're at the gas station. Okay, yeah. can you help Cecia read the conversation using the second item? What is the conversation? The conversation is here. Es la misma conversación del ejemplo, solamente hay que cambiar el artículo y el color y el precio. Oh, how much are the cell phone, Cecia? Okay, so you say how much, pero aquí vamos a cambiar porque solo es un teléfono. Entonces, how much? Ya no podemos decir are, sino in if. how much is is a cell phone? How much is that cell phone? Podemos decir that cell phone. Okay. Uh, how, much how much is much that cell phone? Is, that cell phone, Cecia. Uh -huh. Is iPhone 44? Wow. Which one? Which one? Uh huh. Hello. Odilio. Hello. Hi. Which one? It's, uh, the... What is some um, word, teacher? Uh, okay, le pregunto a usted, ¿verdad? How much is that cell phone? Le dice Cecia, yeah. which one? O sea, aquí hay dos. Tiene que indicarle cuál de los dos oh, es. Uh, the red. Ajá, the red. Cell phone. Ajá, en vez de decir cell phone, ¿qué vamos a decir? Teléfono. Como, ej... Como el ejemplo que está ahí, ¿verdad? The red or orange. Uh -huh. Cell phone. Ajá, pero lo, según lo que estamos viendo, hay un pronombre que se puede utilizar cuando eh, queremos evitar repetir la misma palabra varias veces. Entonces, ese pronombre es en singular one y en plural once. Entonces, como todos tenemos un teléfono, entonces usted le pre, ella, eh, Cecia le pregunta a usted, which one, para no decir which cell phone. Entonces usted le dice el anaranjado, que sería en este caso parecido al ejemplo que está acá. Uh, I don't know, teacher. No problem. Okay. 
Uh, ¿quién, nos, ¿Quién nos ayuda acá? A leer la parte A. María de Lourdes. Ok. From the beginning. Desde el principio. Hoy. Beginning. How much is that cell phone? How much is that cell phone? Which one? Hmm? Which one? Ah, which one? The red one. The red one. There is uh, $50. Uh -huh. It's one cell phone. So you say? There is $50. Mm -mm. Ah, it's $42. Uh -huh. Okay, so... So again, from the beginning, desde el principio. Okay, let's see. Maria Lourdes? How much is that uh, cell phone? Mm -hmm. Which one? The one, the red one. Mm -hmm. It's $42. $42. It's... Um, it's cheap. You say that's cheap. Okay, for a cell phone, yeah, that's cheap. That's cheap. That's cheap. Okay, thank you, ladies. All right, good. And uh, I need two volunteers for the last one, the other cell phone. Ah, ya vieron cómo es. I need volunteers, two people, to help me do this, please. We have a chat entry here. Oscar Susana is present. Okay, Oscar. Thank you. Okay, two volunteers. The last one. Vamos, compañeros. Voluntarios. Salvador and David. Okay. Thank you very much. Salvador, you're A. David, you're B. How much? How much is the cell phone? Mm -hmm. What? One? Which one? Which one? Which mm -hmm. one? Which huh? one? Uh, the right. what is the color uh, cell phone? I think it's blue. Blue? Mm -hmm. I think the uh, the the blue one. The blue one. Mm -hmm. The blue one. Is, uh, the blue. It's uh, one, $100. It's $100, okay. Next. Uh -huh. And in your case, no, what is your response? Le dijo, it's, it's $100. ¿Cómo reacciona usted a ese precio? Hay que ocupar una de las expresiones del cuadrito, ¿verdad? David? That's reasonable. That's reasonable. Okay, that's reasonable. All right, there you go. Thank you very much. I want you to complete this, please, in the platform. This is exercise 3.4. Okay, so knowledge check 3.4. Let's continue. Okay, this is also part of the knowledge check. Listening, look at these. Listen to Tim and Sandra shopping, complete the chart. Okay. So what are you going to do? Take a look. Listen to, Sin to Tim and Sandra shopping, complete the chart. So the item, the price, do they buy it? And the reason. So the items are inline skates. What are inline skates? Ah, se me olvida que no puedo mostrarles esto, pero bueno. Inline skates son los patines de cuatro llantitas una tras de la otra, que van en una sola línea. Okay, those are the inline skates. A cap, una gorra, okay. There is also the sunglasses and a watch. That's the item. The price. You have to listen and write down the price, el precio. The next question is, do they buy it? Yes or no? ¿Lo compra? Sí o no? Y si lo compra, me da la razón, me dice por qué lo compro. Y si no lo compra, diga también por qué no lo compro. I can notarlo. I am going to play the track three times. So everybody, please take notes. Okay, tomemos apuntes. 
Let me know if you can hear this. One. Look at these. Can you hear that? Se escucha el audio? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, listen. Here we go. One. Look at these. Inline skates. I really want a pair. But they're pretty expensive. They're a hundred and sixty-five dollars. Oh yeah, you're right. A hundred and sixty-five dollars is too expensive. Two. Here's a great cap for you. That one? Hmm. Is it expensive? Not really. It's only nine ninety-five. Nine ninety-five is very reasonable. I think I'll take it. Three. What do you think of those sunglasses? They're only sixteen dollars. They're nice. Try them on. Oh no, I think they're too big. You're right. They are too big. Four. I love this watch. Do you like it? I do. Why don't you get it? Hmm. It's pretty expensive. It's forty nine ninety nine. That price isn't bad. It's a nice watch. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I think I'll get it. Okay, second time. Take notes. One. Look at these. Inline skates. I really want a pair. But they're pretty expensive. They're $165. Oh, yeah. You're right. $165 is too expensive. Two. Here's a great cap for you. That one? Hmm. Is it expensive? Not really. It's only nine ninety-five. Nine ninety-five is very reasonable. I think I'll take it. Three. What do you think of those sunglasses? They're only sixteen dollars. They're nice. Try them on. Oh no, I think they're too big. You're right. They are too big. Four. I love this watch. Do you like it? I do. Why don't you get it? Hmm. It's pretty expensive. It's forty nine ninety nine. That price isn't bad. It's a nice watch. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I think I'll get it. Tenemos problema, teacher. La señal. Okay. I'm going, to play I'm, go I'm going to play it one more time. Vamos a ponerlo una vez más. One. Look at these. Inline skates. I really want a pair. But they're pretty expensive. They're $165. Oh, yeah. You're right. A hundred... Lo siento, tuve un problema de conexión, aparentemente. ¿Me escuchan? Sí, teacher, escuchamos. Es que ya son vacaciones. <risa> ya ni la conexión quiere. Ok. Bueno, eh, seguimos entonces. Van a disculpar. Voy a compartir la pantalla nuevamente. Eh, les pido disculpas, pero se me desconectó un momento. No sé qué pasó. Ok. ¿Pueden ver la pantalla? Yes. Ok, great. Yes, teacher. Seguimos entonces. Here's a great one. ¿Me escuchan? Yes. Ok, great. I'm going, to, I'm going to play it one more time. Chat entries. Ok. One. Look at these. Inline skates. I really want a pair. But they're pretty expensive. They're a hundred and sixty-five dollars. Oh yeah, you're right. A hundred and sixty-five dollars is too expensive. Two. Here's a great cap for you. That one? Hmm. Is it expensive? Not really. It's only nine ninety-five. Nine ninety-five is very reasonable. I think I'll take it. Three. What do you think of those sunglasses? They're only sixteen dollars. They're nice. Try them on. Oh no, <laughs> I think they're too big. You're right. They are too big. 
four. I love this watch. Do you like it? I do. Why don't you get it? Hmm. It's pretty expensive. It's $49.99. That price isn't bad. It's a nice watch. Yeah, maybe you're right. I think I'll get it. Okay. Do you have uh, the answers? Hello? ¿Me escuchan? Sí, teacher, lo escuchamos okay. ya. Okay, perfecto. Yes, okay, so, um, so the item, the first one is inline skates. What's the, what is the price? Anybody can participate. If you know the answer, please raise your hand. What is the price of the inline skates? Consulta, ¿necesitan escucharlo por última vez? Por favor, te eche vamos por última okay. vez. Okay, no problem. Okay, the last time. One. Look at these. Inline skates. I really want a pair. But they're pretty expensive. They're $165. Oh, yeah. You're right. $165 is too expensive. Two. Here's a great cap for you. That one? Hmm. Is it expensive? Not really. It's only $9.95. $9.95 is very reasonable. I think I'll take it. Three. What do you think of those sunglasses? They're only $16. They're nice. Try them on. Oh, no. I think they're too big. You're right. They are too big. Four. I love this watch. Do you like it? I do. Why don't you get it? Hmm. It's pretty expensive. It's $49.99. That price isn't bad. It's a nice watch. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I think I'll get it. Okay. So what about the inline skates? What is the price of the inline skates? Does anybody have this information? Enrique? Me voy a equivocar, pero... <laughs> Uh, number one, it like skate uh, is not uh, uh, very expensive, expensive, muy caro. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's correct. Okay, that's a no because they are too expensive. That information is good. But my yeah. question is, how much are the inline skates? What is the price? Cuánto valen? Yeah. <laughs> no problem, no problem. So who has the price? Who who can tell us? Cecia. $165. $165. Okay, yeah, that's $165. And uh, do they buy it? Enrique said no. Okay, what's the reason? Because they're too expensive. Thank you, Enrique and Cecia. Good. Number two. How much is the cap? If you know, raise your hand. How much is the cap? Cecia. 90, 99. 90, 90, 95. Or 90, 90, 95, pardon. Okay. 90, 90, 90, That's very expensive. No, 9.95. No. Ah, entonces no es 90. <laughs> Ajá, 9.95. Okay, good. It's 9.95. <laughs> okay. All right. So, do they buy it? Razonable. <laughs> okay, but it, the question is, do they buy it? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. And yes. Uh, because the price is? Reasonable. Reasonable. Okay, yeah. They buy it because the price is reasonable. Okay, thank you, Cecia. What about number three, the sunglasses? What's the price of the sunglasses? Raise your hand if you know the answer. What's the price? Sunglasses.
Alguien que nos ayude con la número 3, por favor. ¿Cuál es el precio? Number three, anybody? Okay. Han venido con la pólvora mojada todo, teacher. Sí, sí. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sunglasses are $16. They don't buy them because they're too big. And the watch is $49.99. They buy it because the price isn't bad. Okay, for the next part, role play. Can I help you? Okay, you have, uh, well, this is just knowledge check right here, pair work. Uh, you have four sales on your desk and tables. We cannot do this right here because we don't have a real desk, okay? But I want you to take a look at the exercise. Uh, student A, you're a clerk. Ser encargado. Answer the customer's question. Student B, you are a customer. Uh, ask about the price of each item. Say if you want to buy it. There's a conversation like, can I help you? Yes, I like these sunglasses. How much are they? You say which ones, and then you do the conversation. But Considering you don't want to participate today, we're going to skip this. Okay, lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán la fuerza de voz en oraciones con el objetivo de mejorar pronunciación. Take a look. It's 3.6, pronunciation sentence stress. Okay, I want you to take a look. Listen and practice. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress, okay? So what is the stress? It's the strength in a word. ¿Qué es el stress? Es la fuerza de voz que va en determinadas palabras o en determinadas sílabas. You have, for example, in this case, they say, excuse me. You see, this one is bigger. You say, excuse me. It goes flat then up and then flat again excuse me you don't say excuse me no you don't say excuse me no you say excuse me that is correct okay so excuse me the second one is they're perfect they're perfect the next one is i like the blue one I like the blue one. So the stress is right here. And the last one is, they're not very attractive. Okay, you can see it. They're not very attractive. Okay, so there's the stress. When you see a big bubble or a big circle, that means the that's where you have to do or pronounce or, you know, give it a stress. So we're going to listen to it. Then I'm going to say it so you can repeat it where you are. Let's listen. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Okay. So you have it right there. You can say, excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. That's how it is. If you want to repeat right there, okay, you can do it. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. And that's the pronunciation part. Okay, try to practice that later. So um, lesson objective 3.7. What is this? Take a look. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación donde los adjetivos comparativos serán introducidos a través de preferencias. Okay, here's the big part of grammar. So everybody, take a look. This is lesson objective 3.7. Conversation. Which one do you prefer? Okay. Let's listen. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. 
The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, that's the conversation. Which one Page do you 19. prefer? Oops. Exercise 9. Okay, uh, Anne says, look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? Sue says, I like the wool one better. Okay. So there's the leather one and the wool one. Anne says, the wool one? Why? And Sue says, it looks warmer. Anne says, well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Sue says, hmm, there is no price tag. Anne says, excuse me, how much is this jacket? And the clerk, this is the clerk, he says, it's $499. Would you like to try it on? And Anne says, ah, uh, no, that's okay, but thanks anyway. And the clerk says, you're welcome. So before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the expressions? Ever Enrique, then David, and then Cecia. Mantengan la mano levantada para que no se me pierda. Okay, Ever. Wool. Wool is a material. Okay, wool means lana. Okay. Mm -hmm. David. Price. Oh. A price tag. Okay. A price tag is a piece of paper that comes with the clothes and it says the price. En la etiqueta donde va el precio. That's a price tag. Cecia? Yeah. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, one, one better. Okay. I, one okay. Better. So when Sue says, I like the wool one better, and when uh, Anne says, I like the letter one better. The wool one better. Que le gusta más que el otro. I like the wool one. I like the wool jacket better. Okay. And Anne says, I like the leather one better. Okay. Any other questions about the vocabulary or the expressions in the conversation? No question. Hola, Okay, nope. thank you. Let's continue. Word power, materials. What are these things made of? Identify each one, use the words from the list. So there is cotton. These are the materials. Cotton, rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, wool. For example, the first one right here is a plastic bracelet. So you don't have to use pl plastic again. So a plastic bracelet. What about number two? If you know the answer, raise your hand. Cecia, please. A gold ring. It's a gold ring. Okay, that's correct. Okay, that's a gold ring. Thank you, Cecia. Maria de Lourdes, what about number three? A silk tie a silk tie correct okay it's una corbata de seda that's a silk tie silk is the material seda a silk tie very good thank you what about number four what's number four david antonio uh wool socks wool socks okay that's right wool socks calcetines de lana okay very good Number five, what's that? Ever Enrique. A leather jacket. Uh -huh. Good, just the pronunciation. It's a leather, leather, leather. jacket. Uh -huh. A leather jacket. Le leather jacket, okay. It's a leather jacket. It's el cuero, right? Thank you, Ever. 
What about number six? Saúl Ernesto. Number six. Uh, cotton, cotton shirt. It's a cotton shirt. Okay, that's correct. It's a cotton shirt. Una camisa de algodón. Very good. Okay. Maria de Lourdes. What about number seven? Silver earrings. Silver earrings. Okay. Silver earrings. Son garito de plata. Okay. Il si silver earrings. Very good. And the last one. What's number eight? Adán Iglesias. Plastic bag. Plastic. No, not plastic. No. Plastic was no. the first one. Rubber. Cut. Rubber. But. Rubber boots. Okay, you uh, have boots. rubber boots. Some botas. Rubber de, boots. De hule. <laughs> so rubber boots. That's correct. Okay, so that's the material right there. So everybody, remember, it's a plastic bracelet, a gold ring, a silk tie, wool socks, a leather jacket, a cotton shirt, silver earrings, and rubber boots. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in this slide? Maria de Lourdes? No question. I have a question. What's your question? Rubber. Rubber is Rubber. Goma, goma o ule, right? Rubber. The last one, rubber. Okay, any other questions? No more questions. Okay, then we begin the grammar. Now, this can be a bit complicated, so everybody pay close attention. And by the way, this is Knowledge Check 3.9. So please, work this on the platform. Ya en la plataforma tenemos que ir más o menos, déjenme enseñarles por acá. 3.9, yeah. Sería por acá. Here's the knowledge check. This exercise we just finished. Okay. All right. But now we go with the lesson objective. So what is that? By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de comprender y utilizar los adjetivos comparativos. What is that? Take a good look. Grammar focus. Preferences, comparisons with adjectives. Mucho cuidado con esto. Fíjense bien. Which one do you prefer? ¿Cuál prefieres? You say, I prefer the leather one. Prefiero el de cuero. O la de cuero. Okay, I prefer the leather one. You can also say, which one do you like better? Or... Which one do you like more? It's also possible. ¿Cuál te gusta más? Se puede expresar de ambas formas. Which one do you like better? Or which one do you like more? And you say, I like the leather one better. Or I like the leather one more. ¿Verdad? Me gusta más el de cuero. ¿Verdad? Eso significa, oh, me gusta más la de cuero. Depende de qué esté hablando. So I like the leather one better. Now, this is the simple part. The part that gets a bit more complicated is here. That one is cheaper than the wool one. Es más barato que la de lana. This one is nicer than, es más bonito que, ¿verdad? The leather jacket is prettier than, también es más bonito, ¿verdad? Que it looks bigger than, se ve más grande que, and it's more stylish than, ¿verdad? Está más, tiene mayor estilo, mejor estilo que, more stylish than. The spelling of the comparative adjectives, you can say cheap becomes cheaper, nice becomes nicer, pretty becomes prettier, and big becomes bigger, okay? But what is this? Take a look. You have these people. He says, I am 92. And she says, I am 93. En mayor. So you can say that he is old, but she is older. Older means mayor, ¿verdad? No quiero decir más viejo porque se ve muy feo, ¿verdad? Pero sí, mayor. Okay? 
So that's old and older. Then if you take a look at this, you have 40 kilograms. 40 kilograms is heavy, pesado. But 50 kilograms is heavier. Heavier means más pesado. Then you have two pairs of shoes. The first pair of shoes is $120. That's expensive. But the second pair of shoes is $175. That is more expensive. No es caro y el otro es más caro. Those are the comparatives. Older, heavier, more expensive are comparative forms. The comparative is ER, like older, or more in the adjective, like more expensive. Now, I'm going to explain this in more detail now, but I'm going to share this with you via WhatsApp. Let me find it. Okay, now take a look. Comparative form. This is what happens when you have adjectives with one syllable. ¿Se acuerdan lo que habíamos dicho de los adjectives? Los adjectives son palabras que califican sustantivos, es decir, las palabras que nos sirven para describir las cosas. When you have one syllable adjectives, that means adjectives that have only one syllable, one, these are the rules. Rule number one. Si usted quiere hacer el comparativo, solo agréguele ER al adjetivo. For example, I'm going to zoom in. Old becomes older, que es viejo o antiguo, se vuelve más viejo o más antiguo. That's older. Slow es lento o lenta. If you add ER, it becomes slower, que es más lento o más lenta. Y como los adjetivos no tienen género ni número, entonces puede ser más lentos, más lentas también. ¿verdad? Then you have nice. Nice. The comparative is nicer. But if you notice, look, nice already ends in E. So you only need to add, to add R, and that's it. So remember, for one syllable adjectives, normally you have to add ER only. Like old becomes older. Slow, slower. Nice, nicer. Okay? Sería más viejo, más lento, más bonito, más chivo. Rule number two, this rule, when you have a one syllable adjective with the final combination, consonant, vowel, and consonant, except W, you have to add an extra consonant in ER. For example, look, you have big. Big is a one syllable adjective, and it ends in the combination consonant, vowel and consonant. You have consonant B, vowel I, consonant G. So when you have that, when you have a one syllable adjective and it finishes in consonant, vowel and consonant, then you have to add an extra consonant and ER, okay? So you have big becomes bigger, okay? B-I-G, G-E-R. Second example, hot. Hot, one syllable. It's a one syllable adjective and it ends with the combination consonant, vowel, and consonant. H O T, consonant H, vowel O, consonant T. So you have the conditions. That means you need an extra consonant and now you have hotter. H O T T E R. Okay? Example number three, thing, que es delgado, thing. It's a one syllable adjective, thing. Okay, and it ends in consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant H, vowel I, consonant N. So, you have to add an extra consonant, an extra N, and you have thinner, it's más delgado. Okay, thinner, T-H-I-N-N-E-R, thinner. Okay, si ustedes se fijan, hay una excepción a esta sub, subregla, digámoslo así. 
consonant, vowel, consonant, except W, menos la W. Y aquí tenemos un ejemplo aquí arriba. Fíjese, slow es un adjetivo de una sílaba que también termina en consonant, vowel, consonant, pero termina en la W, que es la excepción. Cuando eso pasa, no le vaya a duplicar nada. Solamente agréguele ER. ¿Ok? Aquí está, ¿verdad? Consonant, vowel, consonant, except, excepto, ¿verdad? La W. Except W. Before we continue, do you have any questions? No questions? Okay. Now, what happens with two or plus syllable adjectives? Okay. First rule. Two syllable adjectives, that means adjectives with two syllables, okay? Ending in Y, change Y for I, E, R. Examples. Easy, easy, that's two syllables. E, Z, E, Z. That's two syllables right there, E, Z, okay? And it ends in Y. When that's the case, you change Y for I-E-R. So easy, fácil, easier, más fácil. Second example, heavy, heavy, heavy. Two syllables, heavy. And it ends in Y. So you change Y for I-E-R. Heavier, heavier. Heavy, pesado. Heavier, Más pesado. Example number three. Early. Early. Two syllables. Early. Early. So early has two syllables and it ends in Y. You have to change Y for I-E-R. And the comparative is earlier. Earlier. So early is temprano. Earlier más temprano. ¿Ok? Next rule. Now, you have to use more for adjectives with two or more syllables. Si ya de por sí tiene dos o más sílabas, usted por lo general va a utilizar more. Like this. You have careful, careful, two syllables, careful. So the comparative of careful is more careful. Cuando ya tiene dos sílabas o más, olvídese de ese ER o IER al final. Eso ya no lo va a ocupar. Eso solamente es para one syllable adjectives y en el caso de algunos que tienen dos sílabas pero que terminan en Y. De lo contrario, cuando son adjetivos de varias sílabas, entonces solo va a ocupar more antes del adjective y ya estuvo. Ya, ya lo tiene el comparativo. Careful becomes more careful. Expensive becomes more expensive. Intelligent becomes more intelligent. Interesting becomes more interesting. Those are the rules. Before we continue, do you have any questions? ¿Hay alguna pregunta hasta este punto? No questions. No questions. Ok, then. Vamos a esto entonces. You have some examples. This jacket is ok. But I think the other one, aquí estamos viendo one que estamos estudiando, la otra, ¿verdad? La otra chaqueta, la otra. The other one is nicer. La otra está más chiva. Yeah. This jacket is okay, but I think the other one is nicer. Helen wants to buy a bigger car. Helen quiere comprar un auto más grande. Susan doesn't like her job. She wants to do something more interesting. No le gusta su trabajo, quiere hacer algo más interesante, ¿verdad? She wants to do something more interesting. And the last one, you should be more careful when you drive. Debería ser más cuidadoso cuando manejas. 
You should be more careful when you drive. You have the examples right there. But now we have to study the exceptions, the special cases. Take a look. Ah, before that, I'm going to share this with you via WhatsApp. Ya casi terminamos. Okay. The special cases. Enrique. Teacher, ya después de la vacación vamos a necesitar un repaso de ese cuadrito, de esa lámina que tiró, que gramática claro que sí. pura. Sí, claro eh, que sí, ya. no se preocupe. No, 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 no crea. No, no crea. Bueno. bueno, bueno, ustedes ya me conocen. Ustedes saben que al día siguiente puede hacer la clase, igual les voy a dar un repaso. Sí, Así que por sí. Ahí, nadie preguntó de ello. Eh, ya todos entendieron, pero yo me he quedado por ahí todavía. Todo ah, un detalle por, por la gramática, pero... No, no se preocupe, ahí, ahí, lo vamos, ahí lo vamos a repetir la otra semana, no se aplique. Vamos a ver los casos especiales, con eso nos vamos a quedar. Eh, special cases, irregular adjectives. Ahora, siempre que ustedes vean algo que diga irregular, quiere decir que no sigue las reglas. Como los irregular verbs en pasado. Irregular adjectives, what are those? Good, for example. The comparative form of good is not gooder. Esa palabra no existe. No va a decir nunca gooder. La comparative form is better. Better. Es parecido al español, ¿verdad? Que uno dice bueno o buena, pero el comparativo no es más bueno, más buena. El comparativo es mejor. Una palabra bien diferente. Así es también. Good, the comparative is better. And the comparative of bad, es malo, is worse. Igual que en español, que no decimos malo, más malo. No, decimos malo y peor. Okay, those are the comparatives. Examples. The weather wasn't very good yesterday, but it's better today. So, el clima no estaba muy bien ayer, pero está mejor hoy. Do you feel better today? No, I feel worse. Me siento peor, Liz. Another example, far. Far has two comparative forms. One is farther. Farther is about distance. For example, we're almost at the beach. Casi llegamos, casi estamos ya en la playa. Just drive a little farther. Solo maneja o conduce un poquito más lejos. Just drive a little farther. And then there is further. What is further? It means additional, extra. We need further examples. Necesitamos más ejemplos. We need additional examples. Now, estos son casos irregulares. También existen las excepciones de las reglas. Significa que estas reglas que vimos acá tienen algunas excepciones. Y esas hay que memorizárselas. Pero no son muchas. Ok, look. For example, fun. Si nosotros siguiésemos la regla que habíamos dicho al principio, decimos, ah, este es un one syllable adjective, solo tiene una sílaba, y además termina en consonant, vowel, consonant. Ajá, va a decir usted, le voy a poner una consonante más y le voy a poner ER. No, esa palabra no existe, porque esta es una excepción. El comparativo de fun es more fun. Así nada más. Real, real. Ok, real. What's the comparative? More real. Bored, aburrido. What's the comparative? More bored. Todos estos tienen solo una sílaba. Sin embargo, no le vamos a poner ER porque son excepciones a la red. For example, I love the book, but the movie adaptation was more fun. Me gustó el libro, pero la adaptación cinematográfica fue más divertida. Okay, virtual reality makes video games more real. La realidad virtual hace los videojuegos más reales. Yesterday she was bored. Today she is even more bored. Ayer ella estaba aburrida. Hoy está todavía más aburrida. So, even more bored. So, those are the exceptions right there. Do you have any questions before we finish the class? No? No questions. No questions. Then you have this. Bueno, ya les pasé acá por WhatsApp. Ahí tienen para que lo estudien. Por favor, repásenlo. 
De manera que cuando vengamos el lunes 7, pues traigamos esto más o menos fresco, igual va a haber un repaso. I'm going to call attendance. Arles Ernesto López. Are you here? Arles Ernesto López. Uh -oh. Ok. Uh, Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Parece que reportó que había salido por donde iba, no se iba, tenía problemas de, de señal porque estaba fuera de la casa, parece que dijo por ahí. Ay, qué mal. Bueno, ni modo. Sí, bueno, yo entiendo la situación. Lo único que eh, los controles de Insafor desafortunadamente no hacen excepción. Pero sí. bueno. Ok, pero gracias por avisarme. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Creo que no, se me ha perdido Iván Alexis. José Amílcar Reyes Cruz. José Amílcar Reyes Cruz. E invisible. Invisible. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Son causados por la liberación de dopamina en tu cerebro. Uy, están viendo tele por ahí. Ok. Mauro Orlando. <risa> Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Present teacher. Welcome. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Ok. Bueno, damas y caballeros. Eh, ya saben, esta es la última clase antes de la vacación. Mañana no hay clase, no se vayan a conectar, ¿verdad? Aunque les aparezca ahí la invitación que diga que hay clase en, en la plataforma de Zoom, no se conecten porque no hay clase hasta el 7 de agosto. El lunes 7 de agosto regresamos, ¿de acuerdo? Hasta ese día tenemos clase nuevamente. Completen los ejercicios de la plataforma. Debería ir más o menos hasta el 3.10 a estas alturas. Así que, por favor, trabajen en ello. Y una cuestión más. Bueno, ustedes lo saben mejor que nadie, dada la naturaleza de su trabajo, ¿verdad? Pero las vacaciones históricamente son periodos eh, peligrosos en nuestro país, sobre todo porque la gente a veces anda muy... Bueno, no tiene control sobre sí misma, ¿verdad? Y a veces uno tiene que andar ahí, anda un poquito, ¿verdad? Ajá, como lo describen. Así que tengan, tengan cuidado, ¿verdad? Cuando manejen, ¿verdad? No, fíjense bien ahí, ¿verdad? Porque a veces no es uno el que ocasiona el accidente, sino que viene alguien que viene, no viene en sus cabales y pues puede, puede pues sí, causar una tragedia, ¿verdad? Y la, el objetivo es que nos veamos todos después de vacación, ¿verdad? No que falte alguien. Así que, por favor, cuídense mucho, disfruten mucho su vacación, ¿verdad? Con sus seres queridos. Espero que tengan vacación, ¿verdad? <ríe> no sé cómo funcionan las cosas ahí, pero espero que tengan por lo menos un par de días de vacación. Así que, muchísimas gracias y nos vemos el lunes 7 a la misma hora. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you, Good night, teacher. Bendiciones. Bye bye. All the people. <laughs>